And so next up we have Fast Dust. Uh, which has nothing to do with cleanliness or sanitation. This is a racing game. Uh, I mean, Dust Force would also be Fast Dust, but that's a, a very different kind of dust. This is a mouse and keyboard game. Quick race. Um, so what cars do we get? All sort of Mad Max. You have arrived in JFK. Congratulations, Tagmer. I have never been to JFK, but I hear it's actually kind of bad. Uh... I mean, it's no, uh, it's no O'Hare, but... So there are a lot of these cars that look vaguely Mad Max, um, even though they're supposed to be, like, rally cars. We get to see the full set, but... Oops. We get to see the full set, but there's only a few that are, like, available in the demo. It's, it's kind of responding to my controller. Like, that's how I just selected. But not for any sort of, like, navigation. Or, like, track selection. None of that. Um, random vegetable stick wrapper. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's... That's a thing. <laughs> Um, also I want to point out, 4x3, 30 FPS, uh, the music is eh, I don't know how to drive this thing, uh, controls, yeah, keyboard, up arrow. Okay, so there's no cursor, no no mouse control at all. Okay. And it is set to automatic shifting. So I don't need to worry about that. Um, we got like no grip. Also, what just happened there with that crash? Uh... It's kind of an interesting feeling. If this is supposed to be rally, like I'm gonna... <laughs> um, yes, I want to cancel this race. I want to pretend that didn't happen. I also... <coughs> Excuse me, I also want to look at the controls again. Because apparently turbo is a thing. Right shift. Okay. Um, I'm going to do my best. First off, I'm going to switch this to I'm going to switch this to Okay. Um I think the timer started while I was in the uh in the menu. This is it. Like, yeah, I'm not really seeing this being very well optimized. Uh, it is now running in like 45 FPS area. But like, that's a stutter, if I've ever seen one. Um, I mean, racing games are hard to get right. In all fairness. Um, but this is coming off a little rough. Sort of getting the, nope. I was like, sort of getting the finesse, not getting the finesse. That is a tight ass turn. This is the demo course, like. 
What other races are there available? So we have the we have the predator, and that's it. That we can drive. Yeah, we have one vehicle available. This is track twenty six. Of quite a few. Like, I'll give them that. This is a lot of tracks. Uh... Yeah, we kind of... We're still going here. It was... 70 tracks. In this video game. There is something stuck to my socks. Never mind. Um, so okay, 70 tracks, that's a lot of tracks. This is the one they give you for the demo. It seems a bit much. And also, like, I'm gonna test. It was on four on the countdown. Nope, it's... Menu is not ticking. Or the, the race timer is not ticking. Okay. I was mistaken. You gotta be like gentle with the uh with the acceleration in order to uh to hold a line. But like this is a tough course. And this is the one that they give you for the demo. Now, maybe, like, this is the most representative horse in their minds. I think I just went through a downed tree. Um, which, you know, fair. I kind of feel like if you're gonna have a game with 70 courses Give people more than one to try. Hey, Chris um, There is a secret This uh, this terrain is no smoother or rougher than the core rally track Um, yeah, we're getting a couple frame drops, but nothing that severe. Also, I didn't feel any traction difference, like, on-road, off-road. And again, like, rally settings, so fine, but... I feel like this should be a little bit. Also, that was maybe a shortcut, maybe an alternate route. I don't know. It's on the map. Sort of getting the hang of it now. Yeah, it definitely took a bit to uh, to get a feel for the control. And again, I'm doing this keyboard. Uh, so, consider that. There's our turbo. As if our problem here was that we weren't moving fast enough. Does our turbo run out? Yes, I see. It's down on the speedometer. Um, I'm going to describe the music as kind of generic personally I couldn't turn anymore <laughs> I I straight up could not turn just now Yeah I think when you're when you're turboing you can't turn very well 
Um, or that was like a, a factor of the off-roading, which it didn't feel any different, and then all of a sudden you can't really turn. Um, or it might have been like up in the air. That's also possible. I couldn't I couldn't quite tell. And I'm not always good at telling like in a racing game if I'm if I'm catching air. You win. There was nobody else there. Um getting a little like big rigs your winner feel off of that. Off of that sentiment. Um like that's all of the content in the demo is is that I'm gonna give it one more try uh, now that I think I have a better feel for it like maybe we'll uh we'll beat the previous time but I don't know I'm apparently earning a turbo as I go I don't know how other than just driving. I'm, I'm guessing that's all it is. I th I'm pretty sure I let off the accelerator and I was still accelerating. Um, yeah, I, I tried to come into games blind and I try to be fair with them and immediately I'm just like also all those crashes that we had car damage was 6% um I'm really just like there are there are good rally driving games I don't think this is one of them um There's a lot of, like, minute when it comes to rally controls. And again, I'm playing this on a keyboard, so... Pretty... A pretty sizable disadvantage there, but... Even so, um... Rally isn't just, like, racing off-road with little control. Like, there's... There's a lot of texture and nuance to the course. Like, this is a perfectly flat course. That is an alternate path. Um, like, the road itself is perfectly flat. Uh, not, in, like, verticality. Like, obviously we're going up a hill, but there are no... There's no trenches. Speaking of annoying cars, um... My neighbors are doing that thing again. I can't do anything about this. I can't do anything about that. Just reset. Yeah, like there's... There's no like little tire treads or anything to like really make the track more interesting. Um, it's just you get air. Sometimes. I can't turbo anymore. I was using the wrong button to turbo. That would be why. Um, <laughs> I'll take the L on that one. That was me being dumb.
Yeah! <laughs> the 6% damage tumble. Um... I think if the timer has started, it does count. It does count time while you're paused. We didn't actually hit like anything. The tree was further down the way. Uh, yeah. A second left, 5% car damage, really? Uh, Yeah, that's not a very good racing game. <laughs> uh, we're gonna call that one not very good. Unfortunately. It just... Racing games require a well-designed control. Rally games, like, even more so. Uh, because it's like the extra complexity to rally racing. Um, and like, clearly that doesn't that's not trying to be like full on cartoony, full on arcadey. So, the uh, the standard kind of flexibility that you offer a racing game when it's being more, uh, more arcadey, it feels dishonest to apply that to this game. It's just, nah. I would. I would rather play any other rally game. <laughs> Basically, it was, what, was it Colin McCree that has a, a series of rally games? Like, go do those. Those are probably better and probably not more expensive. That game was $25. Um, it's a bit of a tall ask. That's like, the game worked and all that, it just didn't work well and wasn't doing anything special or fun or interesting. So, sorry.